Skeleton King! Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Fogel for Gamesbeat, and I'm going to show you Heroes of the Storm's newest character, King Leoric. Leoric is a skeletal warrior from the Diablo franchise who swings a big mace, sucks the life out of his enemies, and haunts the battlefield after his death. In this guide, I'll go over his abilities and give you some talent build suggestions. Leoric's trait is called Undying. Like Uther's Eternal Devotion or Tyriel's Archangel's Wrath, this allows Leoric to stay on the battlefield as a ghost after he dies. While in this ghost form, his attacks can't deal damage, but they can heal him and reduce his death timer. When the timer ends, he resurrects at his ghost's current position. Leoric's Q ability is called Skeletal Swing. This attack deals damage and slows enemies in a wide arc. It deals double damage against non-heroic sources, which makes it great for wave clearing and taking merc camps. Drain Hope is Leoric's W ability. It conjures a ghostly hand that latches onto an enemy, dealing damage and healing Leoric over 4 seconds. Although it's a channeled effect, he can still attack and use other abilities while it's active. The Skeleton King's E ability is called Wraithwalk. This makes him unstoppable and causes him to leave his body as a wraith for a short time. When this spell ends, his body teleports to the wraith's current position. This gives Leoric a good amount of mobility, letting him chase down runners or escape an ambush. Leoric's first heroic ability is called Entomb. This creates a U-shaped tomb around the targeted area, trapping anyone caught inside. Like Tassadar's Force Wall or Nazebo's Zombie Wall, it's great for separating weak enemy heroes from their team. But it takes some practice to use effectively. If you're not careful, you can wind up trapping your own teammates instead. Leoric's second heroic is called March of the Black King. This makes him walk in a straight line, swinging his mace three times at anyone in his path. Each enemy hero he hits heals him for a small amount. This ability is good for dealing large amounts of damage to clumped up opponents, but it can be avoided, allowing the enemy team to punish Leoric while he swings away. Now that I've gone over Leoric's abilities, I'll give you some tips on what talents to pick as he levels up. But keep in mind that these are only suggestions. Feel free to experiment and find the build that works best for you. As a warrior, the Skeleton King will spend most of his time on the front lines, soaking up enemy damage for his teammates. With that in mind, here's a durable build that focuses on his life-stealing talents. At level 1, you'll want to get Block. This is a standard talent for warriors that periodically reduces basic attack damage. Alternatively, if you're having mana issues during matches, go with Mana Thirst instead. This will make Leoric's Skeletal Swing restore up to 50 mana for every enemy it hits. At level 4, Willing Vessel increases the amount of healing you receive from Drain Hope. Osane Renewal at level 7 is a healing ability that you can activate while alive or while undying. Using it while undying will get you back into the fight a lot faster. At level 10, you'll pick up your heroic ability. Personally, I recommend Entomb. It's a great utility spell with a variety of uses. Not only can it separate a hero from their teammates, it can be used to block the enemy team from certain objectives or to prevent runners from escaping. At level 13, Crushing Hope causes Drain Hope to deal bonus damage when it finishes channeling. You'll be using Drain Hope a lot to stay alive during matches, and this will increase your effectiveness during fights. Unyielding Despair at level 16 is another upgrade to Drain Hope that reduces its cooldown and synergizes with Willing Vessel and Crushing Hope. Finally, at level 20, Spectral Leech makes Leoric's basic attacks deal extra damage and heal him. But if you feel like you have enough healing already, you can pick up Buried Alive. This makes Entomb deal damage to enemies it traps. That's it. Thanks for watching, and good luck in the Nexus.